Hey everyone, Leslie here. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I've got my little Snoop Dogg here. He's my shop partner today. Um, I thought it would be fun to show you how you can use the uh, Canva app to make mock-ups for your Etsy shop. Now, I have actually done a video in the past on how I create my mock-ups using the Silhouette Studio software. And the problem with that is that you had to take it from Silhouette Studio and send it to another app to convert that file to a JPEG so that it's usable on Etsy. But I've found that it's much easier using the Canva app and you can even use the Canva free app to create these. I do have the pro account, um, but I'm gonna show you that you can use the free app as well. So if you're ready to give that a try, let's get started. If you're already following me, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here, welcome. Okay, we're going to start out by going over to the canva.com and I'm going to create a new design. So I'm going to click on this little tab up at the top and I'm going to create a custom size because I'm doing this for my Etsy shop. Um, you can use mock-ups for a lot of different things, but I'm using it for my Etsy photos and I know that they should be at least 2700 uh, in width by 20, um, 25 pixels in height. So I'm going to go ahead and use that because I plugged it in before. That's why it showed up on the little Canva thing. And now I'm going to go to my uploads. And so I have this frame. I know that this frame is the size that I need it to be. Earlier this morning I took a few pictures of some t-shirts that you can see here. Um, I just kind of staged them with some cars around it because this is going to be for a boy shirt. And so now I just see that I need to kind of uh, edit the photo a little bit and crop it out. Get that. I don't really like the grass back there showing. It wasn't the best light this morning. Um, you can get your best photos by getting them outside, but today was a little bit dreary. So this is what we have now. Now I can see that it's not fitting in this frame, um, so I need to kind of enlarge it so that as much as possible it will fit in this we need it to be in this size for it to have the best um, quality for Etsy but we don't want to crop out those cars because I really like those cars as part of the picture All right, I feel like that's the best I can get. So I'm just gonna kind of center that. So now I have this on here and now I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, ah, eh, it's a little bit dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this image a little bit and maybe brighten it up a little by clicking on the brightness. Yeah, that's looking much better. All right, so now that we have the t-shirt all set up in this photo like we want it, I'm gonna go ahead and upload some SVG files that I downloaded today from designbundles.net. And they have the best, they have so much that you can choose from, but I'm working on baby boy stuff. No, let me go back. I wanted this one, um, Chick Magnet. This is so cute, y'all. All right, so what you want is you want the SVG so I'm gonna just click on that SVG that I downloaded this morning and upload it here. So now that it's uploaded, I can just drag it over. And then you want to kind of make it the size that you need it and turn it, you know, with this little dial here at the bottom. I feel like that's big enough, maybe a little bigger. ahead and brought this up just a little bit so this will look like a frame um, but another thing you want to do is kind of group you want to group the shirt and this SVG together so you would drag and select both of those things and hit group now we have this ready to download um, to our computer so that we can use this as a uh, mock-up and you can use this t-shirt multiple times for a lot of different designs. 
And that's all there is to it. It's very easy creating mock-ups for your Etsy shop or for other things using the Canva free app. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll hit that subscribe button and the notification bell for any new videos that I have coming up.